Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into it, it'd be massively appreciated if you went ahead and dropped a like on the video. Cheers. Rangers boss Michael Beale has been dealt a fresh injury blow with Rudvan Yilmaz and Ryan Jack unable to continue in the defeat to Aberdeen. The side were booed off the park at half time at Ibrox, with the club somehow finding themselves 1-0 down despite dominating the first period of the game. But as the Rangers players came back out of the tunnel for the second half, Rangers boss Michael Beale was forced into making a double substitution against Aberdeen with both Rudvan Yilmaz and Ryan Jack picking up injuries. The Rangers boss pointed to both players coming off off the park as he assesses what was a horrible afternoon at Ibrox, with his side eventually going on to lose 3-1. The latest injury issues come after the team went into the Aberdeen game with several high-profile players ruled out of the team. Todd Cantwell, Nicholas Raskin, Tom Lawrence, Rabi Matondo, Keaton Dowell, Danilo and Kemar Roof are all missing. And if you now add Ridvan Yilmaz and Ryan Jack into the mix, that is now 9 players missing. With the overwhelming majority of the Rangers' support now fully against Michael Beal, it's definitely a situation from which the outs Spoken Rangers boss will struggle to recover from. After the game, Michael Beale did say that we started well, however, starting well doesn't mean anything when you lose the game. Michael Beale was also quoted after stating that we didn't deserve anything from the game, which will be no shock to anyone who was at Ibrox or watched from home. So if you go based on stats, we should have won the game. We finished the game with 72% possession and making 651 passes in the game. We did have 18 shots and 5 of them were on target, and we should be walking away with a win in that game. So what do you guys think then? Personally, I'm still really let down with the result yesterday, and we can't be losing a game like that anywhere, never mind at home. Obviously, having another two players come off with injury isn't good, and we do have a crazy list of injuries now, and that definitely won't help Michael Beal. I'm not overly sure what will happen with Michael Beal, and we could see him leave during the international break, but that will really depend on the board and what they decide. Who knows who could come in and replace Michael Beal? However, I think the safest bet domestically would be Derek McInnes. However, he doesn't have much use European experience under his belt. It's certainly a big week coming up for the club now and it will be interesting to see what happens. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments and subscribe for daily videos. Cheers.